Great. So now that we have the individual components assembled, it's time to assemble the, the entire set and get to playing some drums, which is fun. On the Catalina Club Jazz drum setup, there's also a bass drum riser that's included. So we're going to go ahead and install that. But your Gretsch drum set may not have a riser. This is only for the Catalina Club Jazz drum set. What that does is lifts the, the batter head up and gets a better position for the beater to hit, or gets a position of the beater to hit right in the center of the head, which can be desirable for some applications. So we simply attach it and then just tighten it down and we're all set with the bass drum riser for the Catalina Club Jazz drum set. With the bass drum lift installed, you can see that the shell of the bass drum is tilting downwards from the, the batter side is higher than the resonance side. It's just not really optimum playing position. We want to get it so that the shell's at least parallel to the ground, if not the resonance side slightly higher. To achieve that, we're simply going to extend the bass drum spurs like we did earlier. Extend them out a little bit on one side and then the other using our drum key. And this should get us to a more parallel shell position relative to the floor. For tom mounting, your Gretsch drums are going to come in one of two ways. With a tom mount that's included, or we're going to have a different kind of mount that is going to be mounted onto a hardware stand. This one gets mounted onto a bass drum. So we'll take the tom mount, mount it, and, and put it into the bass drum plate, and tighten that up. The tom arm at this time is just real basic relative position, not fine-tuned. We'll take the bracket and put that over the tom arm and tighten that up. Again, we're not too concerned about the final positioning. We do want the wing, the wing nut to be tight to prevent the tom from falling off and marring, marring the bass drum finish. For your Gretsch Catalina Club drum sets that come with a tom mount of this style, this, this attaches directly onto a hardware stand, any cymbal stand that's sturdy, like the one in front of me. You just simply take the tom mount clamp, put it around the hardware tube, and then you want to have both sides tightened down with the same amount of spacing in between. After this is installed, you just put your tom on here and you're good to go. For the snare drum positioning, I've put a snare drum stand in a real basic position right in front of me. It's not the final height that I need, I don't think, at this point, but I just need a cradle of the snare drum so I can get an idea of where I need to position the snare drum. When you put the snare drum on to the snare drum basket, be careful not to put the snare drum head on one of the basket claws. That could put a hole right into the resonant head. So with the snare drum, positioned in between the basket or inside of the basket. Now I want to look and see how high I need my snare. Basically, you want it to have maybe your belly button height extended. You don't want it too low. You don't want it too high. You want the drums to be easy to play. So make sure that it's basically your waist or maybe even a little higher, belly button height. For me, I'd probably raise this up just a little bit in, in for a playing position that would be comfortable for me. And again, the tom is not in its final resting position. We'll get to that in a second. But I, I like where this is feeling, and this just comes on trial and error and experience and, and how high or how low or what angles you like your snare drum. Very subjective territory here. You have to experiment on your own to find out what you like best. For the floor tom, again, we're just going for a basic feel and positioning. We've established our, our relative or basic starting position with the floor tom legs when we assemble the drum. Now we just need to fine tune it. It feels a little low to me, and again, this is subjective territory. Everyone's going to be a little different, but you just want to have a nice, easy feel when you go around the drum set, and you don't feel like you're overreaching or stretching when you try to, try to hit anything. So for the floor tom, I just brought it up for me. Again, this is my own personal playing style, and that's the way I'd like it. It's trial and error. You'll find what's best for you over time. Now that we've established a good overall position, we just need to fine tune the placement for the tom tom. It's a little close to me and it feels a little awkward for me to get up and hit. So I'm going to move that back and tilt it. And to do so, I'll move, take the bracket, move it out, and then also I'll adjust the tom arm ball and socket and sort of angle it towards me to achieve a nice position. Now for me, getting around this drum set, I can tell without sticks even that this is going to be real comfortable for me to hit at all angles and it doesn't take a lot of effort to move around. That's what, that's what we're going for here on overall drum placement. The 
the last thing we need to do to lock down our TomTom -tom placement is, is to establish the memory lock position. And that's the little piece of hardware down here. It's a little clamping device that moves around on the Tom arm. You want to take it and butt it up against the bottom side of the bracket. There's a little notch that it slips into and it to, to achieve a very snug fit. Once you have that, you tighten that up with a drum key and now the memory lock clamp is not going to move. What this allows me to do is take off the TomTom. -tom. So let's say I move the kit or if I want to reposition the Tom, I can do that and then bring it back down. It locks into place and now the Tom is always in the same position every time I move the kit around and, and set it back up again. Very handy. Drum throne height. Again, subjective territory, but maybe some simple basics to cover to get you started. Find a nice medium position to start with. Not too high, not too low. For me, I like it when my legs are parallel to the floor. Maybe my, my knees are slightly lower than my hips. I find that to be comfortable if I'm too low. It's not comfortable. Too high, not comfortable. Experiment. Find what's best for you, but maybe just start with a nice medium parallel based positioning. All right, for the last setup stage, we've installed hardware and cymbals. Now we're pretty much good to go. Play some drums. So pick up your sticks, check the web for more information, check your authorized Gretsch dealers for specific information, and have some fun grooving and slamming on your Gretsch kit.